Make sure you're this is the story of a conversation about whether young American Jews are increasingly disillusioned with Israel, and if so, why. In June, author Peter Beinart splashed his theory across the pages of the New York Review of Books, and it's been reverberating ever since. I thought I was hitting a nerve, um, but it reaffirmed to me that there is a deep sense of discontent um, uh, amongst many American Jews. There are some five million American Jews, the second largest Jewish community after Israel. They've been a bulwark of support for the Jewish state. But Beinart was referring to a survey of American Jewish college students on why they're not more supportive of Israel. The poll found the students felt distant from Israel and even angry at what they saw as the country's abuse of Palestinians under occupation. What they wanted to try to connect with in Israel, in fact, I think was a country that, that they could identify with as people who had liberal values. Young American Jews surveyed in the poll wanted peace, held the right to question the Jewish establishment, and even empathized with the Palestinians. Danny Stock is a college student who was raised in a conservative <laughs> Jewish home near Washington, D.C. Right. Growing up, my family was very um, proud of the fact that we were Jewish, and they tried to instill the Jewish values and you know, bring us to synagogue as often as we would let them. Um, we were always encouraged to ask questions about our faith and what it meant to be Jewish. Stock traveled to Israel several times as a teenager. The tours included trips to the World War II concentration camps in Eastern Europe. After seeing the devastation of the Holocaust, I really believed that we deserved that land, we deserved a space. We had been through such horrors and, you know, we built up that land and we deserved it. <laughs> but the drive to question that her parents instilled in her eventually led her to question Israeli policies. Old Temple, remember? On her latest trip to Israel, she worked with Arab Israeli women and also visited the West Bank, where Israel continues to build Jewish settlements. She says she has sympathy for the Palestinians because she believes their rights are being violated. If Israel is persecuting others, then there's a problem. There's a major problem. And I'm not going to ignore that just because it's a Jewish state. In fact, the fact that it's Jewish, to me, means that it needs to embody those Jewish values that I grew up with. It's a conversation Stock has skirted around with her rabbi, Stuart Weinblatt. He says American liberal values are not necessarily Jewish values. I need to try and be sure that we convey to these young people um, that Israel is not something that can be taken for granted. It is only 62 years old, and it's every day it struggles for its existence. He goes further. What would happen if all of the Arab armies bordering Israel took a day off? Let's just say they all took a day off and walked away from their post. The truth of the matter is nothing would happen. But if all of the Israel soldiers guarding its borders happened to take that same day off, you know as well as I what would happen in terms of the slaughter and the massacre and the coming across the border that would occur. He's concerned that the young American Jews criticizing Israel could threaten the nation's existence. If American Jews no longer support Israel, analysts ask, how will that affect U.S. policy toward the country? The bond between the United States and Israel is unbreakable. Will the bonds remain unbreakable? Rabbi Weinblatt says American Jews need to support Israel no matter what. I think the, the, the fate of, 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 of the Jewish people is intricately tied up with the fate of the state of Israel. Stock thinks the best way to support Israel is to question it. She read from the journal she kept while in Israel in the West Bank a few months back. I am proud of our heritage and our traditions. I'm proud of our shared values and our shared morals. Yet I cannot be proud of the state of Israel today. I can't believe that God would be proud completely either. As the summer in America draws to a close and the Jewish high holidays approach, Israel, United States, elderly Jews will be filling the synagogues and pledging their support of Israel. But Jewish students returning to their campuses are the future of the American Jewish community and its link to Israel. And it's unclear where they're going. Laurel Booman, VOA News, Washington.